Okay, so I've had a couple questions about how I get my Canvas web pages to look like a online magazine. In other words, I've got pictures over here that are floating to the right and videos that are live in line floating to the left. How do I do that? Well, let me show you. It's not as tricky as you might expect. I'm using uh, a little snippet of code uh, that has to do with the way things are styled. And so when you have a regular page and you try to put in an image, this is kind of what it looks like. And so you have the text and then you have the image. And then if you put in a video, well, again, you have your text and you have your video. Now, what I like to do is I'll use this code. And again, you got to follow the code specifically. So feel free to copy this code. But I'm going to go ahead and copy this. And then here's the little trick I do. If I know this picture and I want it, this picture to align left, what I'll do is I'll go down here to the text right before where that picture is, and I will type in something that I'm going to recognize. For example, maybe T, 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 T. Okay, so that's kind of a weird thing to type in, I know, but that's something I'm going to recognize. And the reason I do that is because when you go to an HTML editor, this is the HTML editor. This is what's called the WYSIWYG editor because what you see is what you get. But this is the HTML editor, and when you click on that, now you're looking at all kinds of language and code. And it's difficult to read, but remember I put in that TTTT? So I'm going to hit Control F or Command F on a Mac, and I'm going to type in TTTT, and notice how it automatically finds it, right? Well, when it finds it, right next to that, remember, right next to that line was the picture, and here it is, a ref. Okay, right next to that, you have this word image. And what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to put right in between the image and where it says source, I'm going to put in that little snippet of code. And when I go back, notice what happens. Now, if I want to move this creep thing, maybe I want to move this creep thing to the right. So I'm going to highlight this code, right? And I'll go, and now again, I'll go down here and I'll type in my, my this time I'll go J, 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 right? And I'll go into the HTML view, and this time I'll control find or control F for JJJJ, and there it is. Now, do you see where it says iframe? That's a little bit of different code. We had image before, but now we have this iframe, and right after it says iframe, that's where I'm going to put that code. And when I go back, now watch what happens. So I've got the image on the left. It's padded to the left, and it's got the padding, and then I've got the video on the right with the padding. And that's kind of how I do that. And then once I click Save, you'll be able to see how the content is padded to the left and padded to the right. And so that's the trick. If you want more padding, you up the number of pixels, maybe from 15 to 20. If you want it to right or left, you just have to add left or right. Okay, hope that helps.